are such an asshole. Asshole Consulting, how are you? Hey, Alex writes. Good morning, Aaron. Uh, don't worry about my name. I want a clarity test request on Kelly Jones, who is the front man of the Welsh rock band Stereophonics. I honestly don't know what the score he will get. Scan through his personal life and maybe that can help you decide if you want to have a drink with him. Let me know the price. Well, it's $25 per person. All right, and this is Kelly Jones. Let's look up Kelly Jones. Oh, it's a girl. Stereophonics. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, she looks cute. Wait, is this a guy or a girl? This is a guy. The other picture had a cute girl. All right, Kelly Jones, born 1974. Welsh singer, songwriter, lead guitarist, and director, and lead singer of the band The Stereophonics. Influenced by classic rock bands such as Pink Floyd, The Who, Led Zeppelin, ACDC, and The Sex Pistols, Joan is noted for his raspy voice which has been described as whiskey and has drawn criticism as well as acclaim. As a lyricist, Jones is influenced by Neil Young, Bob Catley, Bob Dylan, and Otis Redding. So let's go to the early life. Born youngest of three boys, Beryl and Arwen Jones, small Welch mining village of Kamalan. I spent his childhood with them and his two older brothers. Both parents worked in factories. All right, so he didn't come in wealth. Uh, wealth, that's good. Father coached football and all that. Following this. Uh, I'm just trying to go through. Had minimal mainstream success. All right, his dad had some musical accomplishments. Oh, and, um, Kelly also boxed. Alright, so he started singing in 92. So in 92 he was still, he was a senior. He was about to be an adult. Uh, Jones' talent for writing was apparent in his youth. He studied film to college. Alright, worthless degree. Goes against him there. Considered becoming a scriptwriter, attracting interest from the BBC for his work before focusing on music. As his band progressed from covers to performing original material, Jones thought his gift of for narrative to his lyrics. He also flirted with the idea of career in boxing and was a successful fighter at junior levels. <clears throat> Nineteen ninety six, after years on the South Wales Life Circuit, Stereophonics were the first band to be signed Richard Prince's Oh, Virgin Records. Interesting. Okay. So he had been working this entire time. Uh, unfortunately he majored in stupid stuff. Mm. He's still playing. Yeah, so I mean, it, this is, uh, I think he gets a three. Or no, I'm sorry, he only gets a one. You want a low score on this. One for his worthless degree. Yeah, he didn't come from money. He went into boxing. That's kind of cool. I know that really doesn't play on there. And he's been working this entire time. Uh, a fair amount of uh, musicians here do get pretty good scores on the Clary Test because they do go straight from, you know, middle school even. Uh, we had Eminem, I think, was a, a perfect scored uh, individual. Uh, yeah, so he gets a one. Uh, that's the only thing. So would I like to have a beer with him? Yeah, yeah. Like, should he run for office? I think he should, because he's got more real world work experience than most uh, most uh, politicians. But why would he give that up if he's making that much money? So, all right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you all later. Toodles.